Hey guys, remember the bus off from last year? Oh, we put her into work today. This is all the wood we got cut up. Put a T post here so it's 16 inches. We know every time we cut a piece, it's 16 inches. We just put a piece on here, slide it out till it touches here, and then zip it. And then this just slides forward and back. And this is the old Dave uh, Bradley. We're using that to run it. Uh, pull it up there. And then this is what we got left. Well, we we moved some of it over here. Unfortunately, me and Toy got kind of a little messed up. And then we got that yet to process. Uh, it's and a few more pieces over here from. This is where the pile was. I mean, that's how big. See where it's all dead grass and stuff. That was what pretty much a little bit that's left, but I hurt my shoulder and Troy hurt his ankle, unfortunately. But you know, that kind of ha happens. So, we, you know, for, for what we've been out here working, we got quite a bit done, you know, and cleaned up a lot of the um tree bark and stuff that was laying around. And then I walked you over to the trailer we so we can go get slop more slabs. Now we can start, you know, processing firewood and stuff. Gotta get another pair of uh, yellow sunglasses, uh, work glasses, or safety glasses. Troy did some mowing. He mowed over there, the push mower, and then he mowed all around here. Me and him moved the boat trailer over and moved the boat so we could get to it. Cleaned the deck off. We had a uh, couple of the old tires on here from the old ones, and then we put these um, boards on here just to help keep the tire, the slabs away from the um, tires when we go and get. I mean, we haven't, we didn't have an issue last year, but we'd rather not take a chance either. And then we just put a couple boards. We ran screws into the deck so this board can't move. And screwed it from there into that board. So, you know, safe, secure. And then we just used the stake pockets, threw a couple screws in it. Like I said, you know, it's it's bundled up so it's not like we're going to be putting any real pressure on it we just want to make sure it can't shift but you know we're getting stuff done
I'm actually in a t-shirt today, so you know it's pretty nice out. Feels good though being in the sun. Still got my insulated pants on, but. My heart's not too good, so I don't have the best. And little logs. And we're getting there. And this is all that firewood from last year. We got a process yet. There's, you know, more logs. I think these are the ones that somebody just dropped off not long ago. And... Extra blade for the mill. Some more logs, you know. Now we're getting there. Tomorrow we plan going and getting the, um, some slabs. So, that's another good thing. And then we use that to pound in the T post so we could, um, use it for a stop at 16 inches because that's what common firewood is and most fire pits in like campgrounds and stuff aren't any bigger than 16 inches but that's about it for tonight and i did drink almost two bottles of water and finishing up the uh, second bottle now so that's a plus but you guys have a great night and stay safe from this virus and I'll talk to you on the next one.